What a do, Dream Team? It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with 15 things you didn't know about Sweden. I'm excited to find out and learn some things. But before we do, y'all know I need y'all to smack that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media, Patreon, all top. You know, subscribe to any of it. Follow the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. I'll talk back. If you got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or there's a Google form link in the description. What we got, Sweden? This is Travel Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, hey. we present you with another incredible country. Hey. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Sweden. I don't know a lot about Sweden. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hey! And you see, I'm here. I'm, so, so is it saying that I'm a future billionaire? I wish. I hope. I guess we're going to have to make it happen. Since future since billionaires I'm come to get inspired. Because we got to make it happen now. You feel me? Hello, Aluxers. Welcome back to a new video brought to you by our team here at Alux.com. Today, we're talking about a very fascinating country that literally embodies the Scandinavian dream. That, of course, is the Kingdom of Sweden. With a population of less than 10 million people, Sweden is the third largest country in the European Union based on its hmm. territory. It is still officially a kingdom, although the royal family has a mostly symbolic power in the state. Although most people know it for being the land of Vikings in the past, we have to thank Sweden for many innovative inventions and frankly, a very sustainable lifestyle as an example. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We hope you'll enjoy and learn new things from this 15 things you didn't know about Sweden video. Definitely Number new. one, Swedes pay a lot of taxes. Sweden is notorious for having one of the highest tax rates in the world, which would normally be considered bad, especially in the US. Yeah. The current tax rate is 51.4% of the GDP, and the country uses a progressive income tax rating system. For example, if you earn more than $72,543 per year, 31% goes to income tax, and your employer also has to pay 25% for social fees. However, Swedes love this about their country so much so that a tax is called a skat, which means treasure in Swedish. That is because they receive free education, including zero university taxes and health care, since 27% of taxes are invested in these areas. Police and the military get only 5%, while 42% goes to social security. Ah, that's not bad. Cause at first that thirty one percent tax, no, that, that that was a lot. That, but when you see what your taxes are going to, and you think about it in the long run, free education, no money for universities, free health care, in the in the long run, in the long term, you, you end up paying less than if you pay less taxes, but you have to pay for tuition and you have to pay for expensive health care. And so you you see that. I mean, that that's it. I wouldn't bother me. Percent, while 42% goes to social security. Number two, Swedish fathers get a lot of days off for parental leave. Having a Lucky child is you. stressful enough, and a lot of that yes. stress is finding time off work to care for a newborn. Not yes. to mention that normally, government policies favor maternity leave, meaning Facts. that new fathers usually get to spend less time with the children. Well, certainly the Swedish government thinks that this is not okay. Sweden is also a big promoter of gender equality and currently gives 480 days off work to new parents that can split it however they like to care for their child. Actually, the country was the first to allow families to divide the leave, and 390 days of that are subsidized with taxpayer money. That, Number 3 Y'all hear that? 480 days. 480 days. 80 days of paid leave to divide between husband and wife uh, about how they want to split that up. That's amazing. That's incredible. 
30 days Jeez. of that are subsidized with taxpayer money. Shout out, sweet. Number man. three, Stockholm is one of the greenest cities in the world. Sweden is big on ecology, so big, in fact, that its capital, Stockholm, was the first to receive the European Green Capital Award, which is given by nice. the European Union. It also means that the capital is one of the cleanest cities worldwide, giving us an example of what real sustainable living looks like. For example, these buses are fueled with methane from sewage systems instead of oil, and the recycling rate wow. of the whole city is around 90%. There are also a lot of parks, Sheesh. and they've even managed to redevelop an area that was once a toxic industrial site called Hammerby Schustad. It now has more than 25,000 people living there who use car sharing, wow. live in green buildings, and benefit from high-tech waste management systems. It's also that said nice. that Stockholm will cease using fossil fuel by 2050. Are Number you serious? Four, Sweden is a world leader in terms of innovation. You wouldn't know it today, but Sweden used to be one of the poorest countries in Europe just 100 years ago. It all changed when the country started investing heavily in its infrastructure and, of course, in its people. Sweden yeah. has less than 10 million people, but ranks among the highest in terms of global innovation. The stable political wow. climate, high-quality education, and promotion of creative ideas has given the world quite a few successful companies. AstraZeneca, Electrolux, Skype, Spotify, Ikea, just to name a few of the world-famous businesses that are Swedish. Oh, no. The country is literally- I hadn't heard of a couple of those, but Skype, Spotify, Ikea, that's all from Sweden? Sweden! Sweden! Y'all doing y'all thing over there! Y'all doing y'all thing! Just to name thing. a few of the world-famous businesses that are Swedish. We appreciate you. The country is literally driving world innovation, and we want to know what they'll come up with next. Number 5. The H&M Magnate is the richest person in Sweden, with a net worth of $16.4 billion. Oh Everyone knows H&M, but few people know the company is I actually Swedish. The first store was opened in 1947 by Erling Pearson, and since became a global fashion empire. Erling's son, Stefan, is now Sweden's richest person, with a net worth of 16.4 billion Jeez. US dollars as of 2018. Nice. He's now the chairman of H&M, lives in Stockholm, and has founded the Mentor Foundation, a non-profit that helps young people who are struggling with substance abuse issues. The Pearsons oh. like to keep business in the family, since his son, Carl Johan, has taken over as the CEO of H&M in 2009. Yeah! Bro, I love this, bro. H&M is my go-to shop for clothes. For Number sure. six. Sweden lost out on an $85 billion deal with Norway. Jeez. Sweden has a great economy and is one of the happiest countries in the world. However, its neighbor, Norway, is way better off. And it's all thanks mm. to the oil. Norway is insanely rich because of its oil and gas resources, which make up 22% of the country's GDP. It is, of course, one of the highest in the world. But in the 1970s, they had mostly no idea how much oil they actually had and proposed an agreement that went like this. They would give oil concessions to Sweden in exchange for lumber and 40% of Volvo, the biggest Swedish company at the time. Volvo shareholders, however, rejected the proposal in 1979, and the deal fell through big time. That same deal would have been worth $85 billion today. Gosh, Ironically, dang. Volvo sold in 2014 for just $1.5 billion. Number 7. The Nobel Prize for Literature is in jeopardy. Each year, the prestigious Swedish Academy awards the highly coveted Nobel Prize to the most valuable scientists, writers, economists, and great thinkers of the world. It has had its series of controversial events in the past, but this year, they will not award a Nobel Prize for Literature since a shocking scandal has taken over the Academy. It turns out that several women have accused Jean-Claude Arnaud, a photographer and husband of a Swedish Academy member, of sexual assault. What's more, he abused his status several times in the past to reveal the names of Nobel Prize winners prior to the official announcement. Dang. The permanent secretary, Sarah Danius, has even resigned from her position following the scandal. It seems that Arnaud is no stranger to controversy. In 2006, he reportedly groped Swedish Crown Princess Victoria at a formal event, what? according to some news publications. 
Number 8. Drinking alcohol is highly regulated by the Swedish government. This is something that most people find shocking about Sweden. It's a free country in all respects, but actually has rules in place that promote certain behaviors for its citizens. In the 19th century, it was legal to make your own alcohol at home, and apparently Swedes drank a lot. So much so that moderate societies started to appear, and nowadays you can actually buy alcohol in supermarkets. Well, only drinks that contain 3.5% alcohol at most. So if you want to throw a party, you would normally go to a system Bolaget, the state-owned liquor store. Oh, and you can't purchase it if you're not 20 years old. As a consequence, okay. System Bolaget is one of the world's biggest buyers of spirits and other alcoholic beverages. Number 9. Sweden and Finland fight over where Santa Claus lives. <laughs> On a lighter note, did you know that Santa Claus lives in Sweden? Or no, was it Finland? Believe it or not, this is a debate that the two countries have, and the results are inconclusive. That is because <clears throat> Lapland, the magical northern territory of the Northern Lights, amazing sights and reindeer is actually divided between the northern parts of both countries. Finland also has the Santa Claus village, which you can find Santa's main post office and other attractions. But according nice. to Swedish researchers, it makes more sense for Santa to be in Sweden. The geography department at the Swedish university has used satellite images to calculate what would be the mean center of the global population. Based on that, a Swedish town called Jokmok would be the best location for gift distribution purposes. Num <laughs> That's funny. I like that. I like that. Hey, you need now Santa live here. No, nah, no, nah, Santa live over here. Nah, it's smarter for him to live here. No, but he lives here. I like that. That's funny. Would be the best location for gift distribution purposes. Number 10. IKEA is the world's most profitable furniture company. Definitely. Don't yeah. lie. You definitely have a piece of furniture in your home that you've assembled yourself. Probably. And most likely it's an IKEA product. Yeah. The company was founded by then 17-year-old Ingvar Kamprad in 1947 and has won over the world with its Scandinavian chic designs. In 2016 alone, the company had a revenue of 35 billion euro or 41 billion dollars. Kamprad was also the richest Swedish person and probably the richest in the country's history as well, with an estimated net worth of 58 billion dollars before oh, his death in January of 2018. Sure. Want to find out some more about billion. IKEA? We've got you covered, Aluxers. Make sure to watch our 15 Things You Didn't Know About IKEA video. <laughs> Number 11. Swedes invented a green fitness craze. Huh. Swedish people enjoy working out in nature and saving the environment, so it was only a matter of time before this happened. Apparently, what you have to do is jog, but also pick up litter on your way, and it's called plogging. The trend has even started to spread to other countries as well. Ploggers use the hashtag plogging on Instagram to promote this new type of workout. Apparently they have succeeded in gathering communities of people all over the world that are committed to having a cleaner environment. So maybe next time you put on your running shoes, you might want to pick up that annoying plastic bottle on the sidewalk as well. Yeah. Number 2. Sweden's national food obsessions Ooh, are not so Swedish. Another thing that Sweden is known for is its relative openness to receive and integrate immigrants. Swedes enjoy fika, a tradition that says you should take at least one break period per day to enjoy coffee and eating Swedish meatballs for lunch. However, the <laughs> meatball recipe has come under scrutiny lately, since they are, well, not so Swedish. The recipe was brought from Turkey, which was then known as the Ottoman Empire in the 18th century by King Charles XII. It was subsequently integrated in with the local cuisine along with a taste for really strong coffee. The president of the Turkish Corporation for Coordination Agency went on to say that IKEA should not sell the famous meatballs as if they were a Swedish dish. Mm. Number 13. It's illegal to spank children in Sweden. A pretty worrying statistic says that 80% of Americans have admitted to hitting their young children according to CNN. In fact, it's not quite... Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I got my butt beat. Uh, I think that should be left up to the parents. Uh, but I mean, in terms of, you're looking out for the kids in terms because some parents get out of hand and it can become abuse. But at the same time, like, 
I know a lot of people who who were spanked growing up, and they love their parents to death, and they they gain the respect from them. Uh, and it, so I'm I'm not gonna say where I stand on that line because it's too controversial for me, and I can see the the pros and cons on both sides. So I'm not gonna say. Americans have admitted to hitting their young children, according to CNN. In fact, it's not quite illegal to punish children in that manner at all in the U.S. There are two camps, the one that's against corporal punishment and the one that says it's okay to spank children from time to time. Sweden, nice. however, was the first country to ban this type of punishment, considering it abuse. Nowadays, Swedish parents rarely hit children in any way, and their example has been followed by around 30 countries. Schools are also places where corporal punishment is prohibited, and it really seems to be working out great for them. The whole philosophy is that children should be disciplined gently. Hitting will only break trust between child and carer, and that will lead to long-term negative effects, such as behavioral problems. Number 14. I was scared to have behavioral problems. That's just me. I was scared because y'all ain't want to get out of that. I ain't going to step out of line because I know what's going to happen if I do step out of line. So I stayed in it. But, uh, I mean, if it works, uh, however they figured it out, I love that. They don't have, they, it sounds like they don't have much behavioral problems, so they figured it out. Effects out. such as Shout behavioral problems. Number 14. ABBA is Sweden's most beloved export. At the height of their fame, ABBA was second only to car maker Volvo as the biggest Swedish export. The band oh. was so famous that it sold around 500 million records and were the biggest best-selling artists for the non-English speaking world. As oh Swedes, gosh. this is a huge deal since they topped the charts in the 70s in the UK, Ireland, Canada and of course the US. And apparently oh, what Lord. makes this band still insanely popular is the fact they're relatable, sweet lyrics and music that was inspired by Swedish folk songs and bands like the Beatles and the Beach Boys. What's more, the four members have decided to reunite after a 35-year hiatus and will release what? new music in December 2018. What? Number hey, y'all give me some songs. Y'all give me some songs to react to. I want, I want some ABBA songs to react to. Uh, and will release new music in December 2018. Number 15. The three point seatbelt is a Swedish invention. Oh. We have a lot to thank Sweden for ABBA, oh, Skype, Spotify, the pacemaker, HIV tracker, and of course, the seatbelt. We take it for granted, oh. but back in the day, it wasn't a requirement for cars, or at least it was less efficient during collisions. Safety engineer Nies Bolin was working in 1959 for carmaker Volvo when he invented the three-point V-shaped seatbelt that is specially created to protect people during an accident. Thankfully, Volvo had made an open patent, which means that every car manufacturer had the right to use the design free of charge. Make yeah. no mistake, every car in the world uses it nowadays, and yes. it probably has saved around yes. 1 million lives so far, according to Britain's Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents. Now that was all for today, Alexers. But before you go, we're curious to know what you think. Does free education lead to a more innovative society like Sweden I has? Think so. Please leave your answer in the comments. And as a thank you, as always, for sticking with us until the end, we have another fascinating bonus fact about Sweden just for you. Number 16. Sweden <laughs> has to import trash. Oh yeah, I heard about Sweden this. Sweden has a garbage problem, and it's not what you think. In fact, Sweden has run out of trash for recycling, <laughs> and so has to ask for help from other countries <clears throat> to power its recycling plants. So, how did they end up with this situation? Well, it turns out they are so environmentally conscious, they have a pretty heavy taxation system for fossil fuels and powers half of its electricity from renewable materials. That's Since awesome. other countries That's like the awesome. UK have bans on landfills, they prefer to send it to Sweden instead of paying the fine for garbage. But at the end of the day, their recycling system is so good, they will surely be the first country to stop using oil products and welcome the new era of cleaner energy sources. Hopefully, That's we'll crazy, learn from them yeah. sooner rather than later. Oh, everything. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, Sweden, shout out, y'all, man. Y'all done figured out a lot of things over there. Y'all sound incredible. Sweden sounds amazing, and I love that. That I'll definitely have to visit someday for sure. But that's all we got for this one. If you guys got a favorite uh, video you want to see me react to, you can subscribe to uh, 
Patreon make a suggestion or in the Google form link or in the description section of the Google form link. Hit the link, fill out your suggestion, send it to me. We're gonna make it to yours faster. Others fill out premium. But make sure you hit subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media Patreon all up top. You know, subscribe to any of it, put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible. TV on YouTube. It's your boy Dini. Out. <laughs>